Hey, what's eating you? me that darn old pup. Are you really scared of dogs, Sonny? No, I'm not scared of them. One of them bit me when I was little, and I just can't stand to touch them. Sonny was just asking about that motorcycle. But $75. For a second-hand motorcycle, you know it's ridiculous. It isn't any more ridiculous than $75 for an unborn pup. But this will be no ordinary dog. His father is... A... I know. And his mother is direct descendant of champion saxophone. Not saxophone. Champion clarinet. I done? Ever since you heard about those Vanderpool pups, our dinner table's been a regular battlefield. And it's going to stop. I'm not going to stand any more of Sonny's nonsense. Wait until you see Queenie. You'll know why I'm so crazy to have, I mean for Sonny to have one of her pups. She's the most glorious shade of black and silver with the biggest, softest brown eyes, isn't she, Dad? That's right. And Sonny can have any one of her pups he wants. But I don't want one. It'll only get underfoot and chew things up. But not for long. A spaniel is so smart, he can be trained in no time. Why, before he's a year old, I'll be able to take him off on hunting trips. That is, if you're willing to spare him, son. What's all this chinny chin chin about? Why don't you buy him for yourself, Daddy? You're the one that wants him. Hello, Phyllis. Good morning, Harry. What have you got in the box? A birthday present for Sonny. Did you know Sonny doesn't like dogs? That's why I brought him. <laughs> oh, I hate to see you wasting your time around a guy that's afraid of a muck. He's not afraid. He's not? Yes, he Happy birthday, Sonny. I bought you a present. Oh, yeah? You did? I'll bet there's a string tied to it. I'll bet there's not. Stick him, Towser! Ow! Oh, ow! 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 Hey, let go! <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Afraid of a dog. Honest, I'm not, Dad. You go ahead and buy that pup for yourself. I don't mind a dog around the house, just so it wouldn't come near me. That's cowardice. You're going to take that dog I'm buying for you. Do you understand? Yes, sir.
Well, I guess we'll have to go home, Beauty. I hate to give in. about dogs. Sonny Rogers, how did you ever happen to bring home a thing like that? Did somebody throw it away, Sonny? Oh, shut up. But Sonny, Both of you. I thought you hated dogs. Can't you see the poor dog's sick? We got to take care of it, and you've got to help. Is this the place she jumped out of the car? Yes. Yes, lady, yes, lady. <laughs> Looking for a dog? Yeah! Water spaniel. There was one under the bridge. Hey, hi. Here, Quinny, here, Quinny. Are you going to let Dad and Mother see her? We better give her a bath first. Oh, goody, goody, goody. We're going to give the dog a bath. Stop that, Mary Lou. I didn't put it there. Well, you would have if you'd thought of it. Mary Lou, stop that. <laughs> I don't see anything to laugh at. how late it is, and Sonny isn't back yet. I know, but don't worry. I did exactly the same thing when I was a kid. Won't you please go and look for him? Listen, if he isn't back by 6 o'clock, I'll buy you a new fur coat. I think you look swell, beauty. I don't think she looks so hot. Oh, what do you know about it? Feel better now? Come on, beauty. Now I'm going to show you your new home. Goodbye, Phyllis. See you tomorrow. And thanks. It's getting late. I'm going out to look for him. Hello? You see? Dad knows best. And no fur coat for you. I I've been thinking about... What you said, kind of maybe like I ought to have a dog. Well, what you said, I thought. Oh, so that's it. Well, I'm glad you've come to your senses. Yeah, and now I'm going to show you my dog. The dog? And what a dog. So that's a dog, is it? Sure. She's a hunting dog, Dad. That's the kind you like, isn't it? A hunting dog? She's a mongrel. You better take her to the pound. No, Dad. You can't do that. I know more about dogs than you do. But, Dad, I think she's going to have puppies. Yes, and we'll have to ground them. Oh, no. I want one. Hooray, I'm going to have puppies. Hooray, I'm going to have Mary Lou. Puppies. And what would Harry Vanderpool think of you, refusing a thoroughbred dog for a frightful-looking thing like that? Go on, son. You'd better take her to the pound. They'll put her away without any pain. I won't. I won't, I tell you. You haven't any feelings. You haven't any heart. You wanted me to have a dog, didn't you? You argued and argued at me for weeks. Well, now I've found a dog. A beautiful dog. And you won't let me keep her because she's sick. Well, humans get sick, too. I broke my leg. Mother had pneumonia. But nobody killed us because we were helpless. But the pups, Sonny. What about them? Oh, we could give them away. Oh, no. I want one. It's out of the question. But, Dad... Uh, I don't want to hear another word. You take that poor thing to the pound, or I will. No. 
I'd rather take her myself. I have some bad news for you, Mr. Rogers. I'm sorry to hear that. What is it? There'll be no pup for you. Queenie ran away. What? She jumped out of our trainer's car. Sunny found a dog under the bed. She's gonna have pup. Let me see her. I'll bet it's Queenie. Oh, what's the matter? What is it? My Sonny took her out to be destroyed. D destroyed? Yes. Daddy made him take her to the pound. Oh, come on, stop it. In the back seat. Nobody will find you here, beauty. Mary Lou, sneak in the house and see if you can get me some food for the dog. Okay. Hey, where's Mr. Rogers? We must have lost him, I guess. We'll have something to eat for you in just a minute. Say, you look cold. What kind of food is this for a dog? That's all I can find. Lou, leave that alone. How many times have I told you not to touch that? Hey, Sonny! Help! Help! Have you got my dog? Your dog? Yes, you have. That's her. I'll teach you to run away. Hey, don't you touch that dog. Oh, no? She's mine, isn't she? Get that dog? 
Yeah, yeah, you can have her. Here, what's all this fighting about? Oh, oh, Daddy! Daddy, come here, quick! Something's happened! Can you beat that? Eleven years ago, she was Little Miss Marker. Today, she's Mrs. John Agar. After a five-month engagement, Hollywood's famed Shirley Temple becomes the bride of aviation engineer sergeant John Agar, Jr. Crowds outside Wiltshire Methodist Church get hard to handle as the couple leave for the wedding reception. At Shirley's Brentwood home, friends offer their congratulations. Sergeant Agar, on a seven-day furlough to wed his 17-year-old bride, will head for overseas as soon as he completes his basic training. But for the future, a fond world wishes them health and happiness.